Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your February mid-monthly general reading. Whatever comes up is what comes out. If it's love, it's love. If it's money, it's money. All right, so I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera. But I give the cards a quick shuffle and we get started. I'll save the announcements till the end. So let's go. All right, Aries, thank you for the messages for Aries. True, accurate messages for Aries. Messages of love and light. Messages to guide, govern, and guide and guard their lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Hermit. Some of you have taken a break, gone within. I'm really trying to gain some spiritual awareness and clarity in your life. Maybe in regards to a partnership, business, or love but the sun is here saying that it's positive ace of cups wow and it's fulfilling on an emotional level could be a relationship could be business home right death is here so there's a transformation for you aries there's a change a change for you a change in you change about ten of swords wow uh, the betrayal and the hard times, the heartbreak is over. Knight of Cups. Looks like there, there's a change, but you still keep going back mentally to the betrayal, the being blindsided, the heartbreak. But the Knight of Cups is here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio doesn't have to be. Sun, Moon, and Rising. The Empress. Nine of Pentacles. Aries, you've got some good things coming into you. You're creating them. What you have put out, what you have planted is coming back. What was wronged in the past or all the endurance, the hard work in the past, justice is here seeing that it will now pay off. Excuse my breasts and everything. And the high priestess, definitely. Um, Spiritual download, the hermit, the high priestess, the ace of cups. Spirit is working with you and for you. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Ten of cups. Wow. Okay, so whatever this is, it's going to bring you some real happiness. The highest level of happiness. Um, spirit is working with you on this this engagement, this agreement, this contractual agreement. Money's coming into you also, Aries. Recognition, success, whatever you define success as. Let's see. Thank you for the messages for Aries. True, accurate messages for Aries. Eight of Cups. Some of you are emotionally checking out or have emotionally checked out. Ten of Cups, which is giving you a sense of um, happiness, love for self. I'm hearing from maybe a king, or you're getting love you're from a King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and having a new passionate start in in the arts, um, in creativity, imagination. Four of Pentacles, but you're still holding on. I think some of you holding on, I want to say to money, because you're waiting for a payout with the Six of Pentacles. Nine of Swords, you're not sure if it's coming. You're not sure when it's coming. You need it to come like now. Knight of Wands, yeah. You want to rush in about this. The Knight of Wands is here saying that you might have to make some quick, fast judgments. Three of Pentacles. In regards to partnership, Two of Pentacles. In love, Two of Cups. Excuse me, Two of Cups. Seven of Cups. But there might be some falsehood, some disillusionment. Like, you, there's a lot of... Um, Things that are unclear. The Magician and the Ten of Pentacles is here. 
Wow. Really good positive energy. Two tens. Ten of cups. Ten of pentacles. Two of cups. Some of you are waiting for money or waiting for a partnership that that, that has that reciprocity. And you, you're you waiting for it. I think it's here. But you're still evaluating like do I find, do I completely let go? Do I completely give myself to this to this uh, relationship? You're gonna have to make a judgment call on this in regards to how you're going to um, <coughs> conduct yourself in that situation. Are you gonna keep holding on to your feelings, your emotions, your money? Your time, or are you going to let go and um, be free to to love, to be open to partnership? Some of you, I'm hearing, you got one foot in, one foot out. You got the door still cracked open on on the past. You got to close that door so you can get the newness. One more spread for Aries. Five of Cups. Okay, go through the grieving process. Grieve the relationship. The, maybe the third party relationship. The Three of Pentacles keeps popping out. Page of Swords. Yeah. Grieve it. Let it go. Be done with it. You could have been dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Five of Swords. Lots of change here. Five, five, five of Swords. Um, harsh words here, page of swords and five of swords. You may really be cursing someone out. Um, the moon here, maybe due to all of the unknown, the secrets, the lies, six of swords. So you're going to move away from the drama and the chaos, nine of wands, because you've been through too much with the nine of wands in this situation. Justice. But the universe comes in and says, okay, enough what was wrong or if you were wronged in the past things will be set right maybe due to a king of pentacles capricorn virgo taurus the high priestess the six of pentacles listen to your intuition in regards to this king of pentacles know that um they're willing to put the work in ace of cups right they're willing to give as much as you give or even more. Eight of Wands. Things are moving fast between you two. King of Cups. Love is here. Seven of Swords. Someone's not operating in the highest vibration. Or someone didn't operate in the highest vibration in the past. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. From your past with the Six of Cups here. But the Sun is here saying things will be illuminated to you. Maybe there'll be some positivity here. The Queen of Swords came out reverse. I don't read reversals, but I'm going to read this in the reverse. So this could be your energy, Aries. You're dealing with, um, you know, you may be cold, nasty, uh, hard toward this King of Cups. Or they're dealing with a Queen of Swords in the reverse. Wow, and the world is here. And an ending is near for them. And they want to take the leap of faith, the fool, possibly with you, the devil. But they feel still, they still feel tied to a karmic situation that they need to heal from. The stars here. They know that in the past there was heartbreak, heart. There was betrayal with the ten of swords, two of pentacles. They had you in the midst of a love affair, possibly two of swords. They had to make a decision. It looks like they have Knight of Wands, or you have, and you're moving towards Ten of Pentacles partnership, solid partnership with the Chariot here, moving forward effortlessly in the victory. You could be moving forward alone, choosing to chart this path alone, leave everything and everyone behind. The King of Wands, that's you. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, the Hierophant, the Tower. 
All right, so something comes crashing down that was built on faulty ground. Anyhow, the tower comes in, shakes up a traditional relationship, marriage, maybe with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Cancer in particular, Capricorn in particular. Aries, it looks like you're all over the place. You got somebody wanting to offer you something really solid partnership long longevity long-term partnership there's somebody from the past that's trying to get out of something and come back could be a cancer pisces scorpio who was dealing with the gemini libra aquarius gemini in particular all right so that's where we are, Aries. Let's pull you some support, additional support cards. The Butterfly Oracle cards gives you some support about in regards to what you should be focused on, worried about from now going into early March. Thank you for the messages for Aries. True, accurate messages for end of an era. Messages for Aries. Sentimental feelings for Aries. Get some rest. That card always comes out for Aries. Um, new exercise program. All right. So, end of an era. It looks like someone else is having an end of an era. It looks like you already ended something, Aries. If not, then it's ending for you. Uh, but someone around you had an, you know, there's an end to whatever is going on with them, whatever funky type energy. Sentimental feelings. Uh, the sentiment is still there. I like sentimental feelings because it's not emotions. You know, it's not the card of emotions where uh, the heart and the mind are still there. Sentimental feelings to me are just when the mind is there. Your mind goes back to a place, but your heart knows that ain't where you're supposed to be. Um... The sentiment is still there. You know, the care. It's its almost like care. Love is over. Giving is over. But care is still there. I still have sentimental feelings for you. Get some rest. Most Aries I know need to get some rest. You guys do not sleep. You guys are like on 10 all the time. Like wired. Get some rest. Get some rest. It's going to do you well. We'll get in spiritual downloads, dreams, how to move forward in your path, on your path. New exercise program. Pretty, pretty plain and simple there. New exercise program. The old one is not working. All right. So if that resonated with you, Aries, please like, share, comment to the post, to the video. Subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Request a personal reading. All information, all information, all information is below, even pricing. Um, thank you to those who have shared, liked, commented, uh, sent very loving messages who's requested personal readings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot. Uh, remember, Aries, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.